What's up, everybody? Go Burns! Going over the clothing and accessories for Grand Theft Auto Online's Ill-Gotten Gains Part 1. These are the male outfits with GB, my PS4 character. And some of these outfits are really sweet looking. They're not bad. Not too shabby. And <laughs> pimp. <laughs> GB to pimp. It's a great way to make a living, right? Make some bucks on the side. You know, working the ladies. I don't know. I think it's kind of wrong. Kind of immoral. That's why prostitution should be legal. Anyways, checking out the tops for male characters. We'll do female characters in a moment. Here's all the awesome new jackets that you can purchase in Grand Theft Auto Online, courtesy of Ill-Gotten Gains Part 1. And I think of all the things that were added, the vehicles and the clothing and accessories, I think the clothing and accessories wins out because there's over 100 of them. Well, you combine all that together. So it's further customization for your character in the game. And I always enjoy having new threads, new clothing items to look through for all three of my characters, GB and Janine and Cynthia over on the Xbox One, obviously. And yeah, so these are really cool. These new uh, coats. I like these. These are very sweet. Hopefully eventually they'll add like uh, trench coats and uh, dusters. That would be awesome. Here's some new designer shirts that you can um, purchase as well. I don't know how popular these are going to be, but they are kind of cool. They have some sweet looking patterns. Some of them look better than the others. Like these, these artsy ones look really, really good. So there you have it. All the uh, new tops that have come with ill-gotten gains part one. But wait! There's more. That's right. And some brand new shoes for male characters in the sneaker section. A couple new threads. They're kind of weird looking. They have kind of like spikes on them. <laughs> kind of creepy. But some people may think these types of shoes are cool. And if that's the case, it's your prerogative. So anyways, those are the brand new shoes. So let's check out another new feature for male characters. Oh, wait. First off, we're going to show the brand new chains. Okay. Brand new chains. Male and female characters can wear these. They are pretty sweet looking. If you're into chains, they're pretty cool. All right, so what else we got? Oh, yes, I almost forgot the newest feature, courtesy of Ill-Gotten Gains Part 1, something a lot of players have been asking for, earrings for male characters. And since GB's a man's man, he's only going to get one in his left ear if he gets one. He's not going to get one in the right, okay? Nothing wrong with anyone out there that likes it in the right ear. I get it. It's cool, open-minded like that. But no, not GB. He just doesn't swing that way. No, he doesn't. And that is all the male accessories besides tattoos, which you can go check out at your nearest convenient tattoo shop, courtesy of Ill-Gotten Gains Part 1. And moving on now to Cynthia on the Xbox One. Here is some pretty awesome leather jeans that you can get for female characters in Grand Theft Auto Online. They're pretty sweet looking. Nice leather pants right there. And here's some uh, awesome jackets female characters can also sport as well. In previous DLCs, it seems like female characters have gotten the shaft. They've always gotten less clothing items than male characters. But if there's one positive thing I can say about Ill-Gotten Gains Part 1 is that Rockstar did put a lot of clothing items in the um, wardrobe section of the clothing stores for female characters which I think is very good because a lot of the players out there like to play with female characters, whether they're actual females or, or guys, to each their own, right? Right. So the same designer shirts, just female versions of the designer shirts, both male and female characters wear the same shirts. And let me know what is your favorite feature that has been added with Ill-Gotten Gains Part 1, your favorite new piece of content, one of the vehicles, the new gun, the combat PDW, the tattoos. Here's the only pair of shoes that the female characters got. And very expensive, the only pair of sneakers, these gold sneakers. Anyways, going to go check out the outfits for female characters as well. And Rockstar actually did a really good job this time with the various outfits. Most of the time, I really don't care for the outfit section. But I thought they did a pretty sweet job here with the various different clothing items from Ill-Gotten Gains Part 1. And obviously, previous DLC items as well. So, really awesome. And of course, brand new watches. Last but not least, the watches. Yes, making fun of the new uh, uh, Apple Watch, right? The iFruit Watch. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be caught dead wearing one of those things. And I actually have an iPhone. I just think it's ridiculous. I mean, there's a freaking watch on the phone. But anyways, I digress. So, there it is. All the clothing items for male and female characters for Grand Theft Auto Online, courtesy of the Ill-Gotten Gains Part 1 update, now available on all five, that's right, all five platforms.